So we were in Harrisonburg and I was still with my ex-husband. We had a little farm and we started going to church with these people that were starting a new church. A really nice looking couple from uh, Denver, Colorado. And um, so we went, I mean, social. And I was trying to find out, you know, more about Christianity. So we did some Bible studies, things like that. And just really didn't touch my heart so much. Um, but my ex-husband and I separated and we sold the farm. And then one of the people, and they had a lot of money. They had a nice big house, property, barn. And the, the wife liked horses, so they were going to keep our horses for a while, uh, maybe forever. And um, I didn't like, they had a golden retriever, and they would tie it out by itself all day. Beautiful dog. And then at night, they put it in a kennel in, in the um, garage. I, that was very strange. Um, Christianity, in that case, does not mean kind. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and sell the miniature horse. So they, they went, Thomas and Ivy went to a real sweet family in, in West Virginia that said they were going to keep them forever because they're great little horses. And the lady, you know, she wanted the pony, my daughter's pony, for her girls. So I was just going to give it to them, but she said she was going to pay me 300 which I think I'd paid 2500 And um, I don't know, they just didn't know the value of the pony. It was a little ha ha Hackney Shetland. She was pretty hot, but I we didn't have any trouble with her. And um, so time progressed, and I I was separating again from my husband, and we were getting a divorce this time. And I had some bipolar issue, and my daughter was babysitting for this other family, and they we had been to their house many times, you know, parties. And, a birthday party where I took our miniature horse and gave the children rides on the miniature horse and um, they had built a big new house and the upstairs was going to be like the attic was going to be the school she was schooling and she had trouble like one of her little boys she told him to go up into his room he had it was hyper and she went in to check on him and he was hanging out the window by his fingertips um, <laughs> poor guy but anyway, they, they said that uh, something I, I couldn't be around their kids because I had bipolar and I was dangerous. That's not Christian either. But anyway, so, you know, time went on. We went to Richmond and I contacted the people that I'd given our pony to, which, you know, it's a pet. We did 4-H with it and everything. And she said the pony had gotten mean and she sold her. And the Pony's name was Be Beauty, and she was a, a dark bay, some white socks, real sweet little show pony. And I said, "Where'd you sell her?" And she goes, "I don't know. We we didn't we didn't keep track. We just sold her." And uh, so I wrote her a letter. I said I wrote her a letter that I'd gotten her from a wealthy family up in um, Pennsylvania, which I did. It was the her family, and um, I said, "You know, she's worth like." $14,000, right? I hope you got your money's worth. 